Hello, everyone. I am so grateful to be here this evening. Before I became a Michigan Wolverine, I would look in the mirror and ask you guys, uh, ask my parents, do I look weird to you? I didn't like the way I was. I didn't like how my body was, how crook small and thin I felt. I wanted to be big and strong like my brothers. I know now that I'm not alone. I am with my friends from football and I realized that what I've gone through when I felt about myself being skinny and broken inspires them. They say to me, how do you do it, Larry? I inspire them to try harder. They make me feel like even though I don't score a touchdown, I'm still a part of their team and they have helped me to be proud of myself because being me is special. A lot of people can play football, but not a a lot of people can survive over 90 surgeries. Now I wear my scars like a badge of honor. I am proud of myself. Thank you for helping make my dream and the dreams of the kids like me come true. I am so grateful. <laughs> nice work, Larry. Thank you. So if, if you follow football or Michigan football at all, as you heard in the video, they are in Rome, met the Pope today, actually, who got a Michigan helmet. So I asked Larry earlier, when we had a chance to meet, why aren't you in Rome? He said, because I have to be here. Yeah. I said, OK, well, that makes sense, I guess. So we're going to talk to you, Larry, in just a minute. But we want to talk to mom and dad as well, uh, Kathy and Larry. Uh, such a tremendous testament to your family and what you've been through. But Kathy, I want to ask you, uh, what, how has your family changed since Larry was drafted by the University of Michigan? She's going to defer it to me, I guess. <laughs> okay. Are you, you're you're going to get one, though, sooner or later. That's all right. Um, speaking of the team, we've been married 30 years uh, Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, thank you. On my birthday, by the way. Um, it's helped our family, and again, as a team, we have six children. Our oldest is 29, and Larry is 15, and they've all had a hand in his care over the years. And um, it's just brought so much pride, uh, the hard work from what they've done and what we've done as a family, the doctors at the hospital, and uh, just watching him. Uh, team Impact has helped him socially and developing because he spends, obviously, his time at the hospital. He's homeschooled. There's a couple of hours at high school. And uh, by the way, the impact, Team Impact has had a trickle-down effect where his high school teams had him, brought him on as well. And so it's really just been a win-win for everybody. You know, there's awareness about disabilities. There's all of that. So it's just been wonderful. So just a sense of pride. You know, we've been fortunate enough over the years to hear from some phenomenal doctors and physicians who talk so openly about the work they do, which I know we all appreciate. They also say there's only... There comes a point where there's certain things they can't do. And they can't provide a child with the normality and the, the experiences that a healthy child might have. And that's what Team Impact does. Uh, what's been your proudest moment as a parent or as a family uh, during Larry's athletic career? I'd have to say my proudest moment was during the Illinois game when Larry was first introduced at the stadium to all of the over 100,000 fans. We waited on the sidelines under the goalpost, and going through my head was the 20-week ultrasound when we were told all of the different diagnoses Larry had. And I was thinking, you know, he had this uphill battle that he had to go through. He survived surgeries, infections, illnesses, almost lost his life several times. And here he was now going to take the field at a game and they told us he might not ever walk or much less run. Larry had just said he was a little bit nervous. And I said, you'll be fine, you'll be okay. <laughs> All he had to do was take one or two steps and then our family was supposed to follow. When they introduced Larry, he took off running. <laughs> um, our, we froze and just stood there with our mouths hanging open. Larry went. He went so far that the cameraman almost fell. His cord ran out of cord. He had to stop him. And uh, we were stunned. As we went back to our seats, Larry was giving high fives to people leaning down out of the stands. 
We took our seats and I had a text message. And I looked at it and it was a picture of Larry taking the field and it was sent by his surgeon, Dr. Ron Herschel, who's been with most of those 93 surgeries Larry had. He happened to be at the game. He was sitting right up behind us. So it was a proud moment for him too. And all I could think was we came full circle. We started at Michigan, he's still at Michigan and he's part of the team now. It all seems so fitting. And his doctor was there, so it was wonderful.